have been over 36 years and she's been attacked many, many times and it just doesn't stick Amen. because it's God. Amen. Amen. And people have said they've put, they've said, oh, they this, they that. But no, it's, we've always just been about the Lord, always been honest. So we're just lifting up the Lord. The real miracles do happen. Answers to prayer. And that means everything. That not only physical things, but if it's an emotional thing, God doesn't want you to have depression, manic depression, fear, anxiety, all that stuff. That's not of God. God doesn't want you to have that. He loves you as his child, and he can help you out of that. Amen? So everything he's got covered. Let's stand up. We're going to pray, and then we're going to... We're going to pray, play some music and sing. Amen. So I'm so glad you came to save my life. I'm so glad you came to save my life.
them in our care. God, turn it around. 
I just want to give you one more thing that happened that is so cool. You know, we do a lot of prison work. And so we have our CDs and all set up, and they're in the prisons, right? Well, this young man, he had done some really horrible things, and he was looking at a terrible time in jail. He was, that night, he decided he was taking his life. He didn't want to live. He didn't know what to do. He was going to take his life. When a guy slipped him and said, listen, listen to this CD. Just listen to it. So he hesitated, then he listened. He said he listened 10 times. On the 10th time, he got down in his cell and he cried out to God. He gave his life over to Jesus in that cell. And as he started thanking Jesus, he said he felt the power of God and the light in his cell. And he said, I didn't know anything, but all of a sudden I got baptized in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues right in that jail cell. And he's a minister, he's a pastor starting a church now. How God can turn your life around. What God can do for you. Isn't that a marvelous story of testimony? I was so thrilled by it. So I thought, well, you know what? He's up in Albany, New York, somewhere up there. I'm going to have a service up there in that church with him. Because I was so excited when I hear your testimonies so of what God's done in your life. It excites me. And there was, I have to tell you, oh, I got so many things I could tell you, but I'll try with this one and I'll stop for now. <laughs> this other one, this girl, she had her cell phone on. She was having, I guess people were listening to it. This guy is an atheist on the phone on the other end. He's a total atheist. He said, ah, that's a bunch of garbage, blah, blah, blah. But as he kept watching people that were getting healed and different things happening, he said, you think she'd pray for me? I've got a bad back and neck and everything. Well, anyway, the Lord, I got him on the phone at, at the service there. The Lord healed that man. He gave his life to Jesus, and he was an atheist listening on the cell phone at our service. Come on, you've got praise. Come on, isn't that
And God wants your past to go behind you and pray for those who despite you, hurt you, and abused you. It's not easy. But that's what God is showing me right now because you know what? He wants to lift that path of you so it becomes a, a memory loss of it. Would tell you it's not her that does the healing, it is Jesus that works. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus does the healing. Thank you, Lord. Just remember, God works, God moves, God heals. Amen. 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 And when you look in God and God loves you, yeah. Jesus loves you just the way you are. Yeah. And if you just try him, oh, just try him. If you never tried Jesus, can you hear her okay? Amen. Amen. That's all there is to it. Amen. Amen. Now, I know how God heals and delivers. I've seen so much of it. Come on. Would you all take hands for him right now? We all heard me say you don't have to go down for God to heal you. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen? Amen. Thank you,
So he came back to tell me how his ears were open. So God is good. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Pastor Larry, did you get up on the Where is he? Oh. Well, I'm going to say this right now, if it's okay with all of you. I thank Jesus for what he's already done. There's still more to come. Amen. Thank you. 
See if she's a fast learner.
It'll be alright. We're we'll not the not her wallet.
Kind of hold the story for all this time. Hands start shaking.
said you'll know by the signs of the times, right? He'll be back soon. He's coming soon. He is coming soon. And very soon we shall see him again. And I want anybody to see the trip. You know? So let me ask you to stand for a moment. You know, we need to feel those lines. I want to ask anyone standing, if you want to give your life, turn your life over to Jesus, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Everybody that has their hand raised, stay standing. The other ones, please sit. Stay standing. I want you, I want you to know one thing. This is what it's about. This is what it's about. It's about giving your life over to Jesus. If you're sitting down, don't. If you didn't get up and you know you should, then get up. In the name of Jesus, get up. Don't let someone, if you're waiting for someone else in your group of people to get up, you get up. All right, thank you. There's one up. There's two up. All of you standing here, I want you to put one hand on your heart. But on your heart and one up to God, say, Lord Jesus, I want you to come into my heart, into my life, and forgive me, Lord, for all the things I've ever said or done against you, God, my fellow man and myself. I want to thank you, Jesus, for setting me free. My name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can everybody stand and put both hands up to the Lord? And say, Lord, Lord I will.
fine No one was there Till you came into my life And gave me your love And a joy No one can ever Throw that album on some surround sound. Let your neighbors hear it. Let your neighbors call the police because you're preaching the peace with that album.
the second song I think. Stick to him for Bristol service, but I'm not going. Hopefully somebody else will record it.
not too many people watching this. I'm gonna shut it off anyway. Sometimes I'm gonna stop. 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 Sometimes I'm gon
face around I tread this hallowed ground Leading me Leading me He guides me through it all By leading me As we walk together He takes me by the hand And speaks to me in phrases I can understand A lifetime is our journey on faith we walk the sea bound for home in heaven for he's leading me leading me leading me his constant love's my guide as he travels by my side leading me My heart. 